Hey guys, and welcome to this week's weekly roundup. In this week's show, I'm going to be talking about the Heron Island swimming, Ponte Lido, Strand Water Park, and of course, my shout outs for the week. But before I get started, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Mike and James for doing the news when I was on holiday. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Swimming the South Atlantic. Endurance swimmer and lawyer Lewis completed a rather icy swim in the South Atlantic in order to raise awareness and also to secure protection for the area's wildlife. Lewis swam the stretch, uh, Lewis swam the stretch of ocean for around about one kilometers and he did it all in his speedos. Yep, that's right, no fancy wetsuit. The water temperature was a chilly two degrees and on the route he was joined by elephant seals. These waters are the most dangerous he's ever swum due to how cold the water was, but also due to the wildlife in the water as well. Lewis has done an amazing job raising awareness and now hopefully the waters that are filled with the wonderful wildlife will get the protection it needs as well. Boxing Day Swim. So backed by popular demand, the Boxing Day Swim at Lido in Ponte is back this year. This is mainly due to the amazing numbers that turned up for last year's Boxing Day Swim, which was well over 500 people. The pool will be open from 8.30 a.m., but do get there quickly as it's based on a first come, first serve basis. Um, another reason why this year will do, no doubt be very popular is that it's actually the Lido Pontis, they celebrated their 90th birthday back in August, or in August, sorry. So the awareness for the Lido has only got bigger and bigger. The admission price on the day is gonna be £2.50 for children and £5 for adults. If you want any, any more information on it though, just click in the link that I've popped down in the description. Heron Island Swim. Have you ever wanted to swim in the waters of the Great Barrier Reef? Well, did you know there are actually two events that offer that experience? And also, you just missed one of them. The Great Barrier Reef Swim is a four-day swimming event that lets you swim in different distances and in different areas of the Great Barrier Reef. You can even swim with rays, sharks, turtles, and of course, there's plenty of fish. Other than, other than wanting to swim in the Great Barrier Reef, the swim is great for people who have fear of sharks or just want to learn more about them. Um, it's been a great event and it has actually has helped really overcome the stereotypes that sharks do get. On that note though, you should totally check out our five scary things people believe about sharks over on our sister channel in Simply Scuba. It's just popped up above me right now. Swimmers break European records. So swimmers from Warrington Masters Club have returned from the Swim England National Masters with a massive haul of 29 medals. This is the most that any club has brought back from the European Games, hence why they broke the record. Not only did they win the most medals, but they also broke the four times 200 meter freestyle relay record by three seconds in Europe, and they smashed it off the British record by an amazing 11 seconds. So nice work, girls and guys. Strand Water Park. After half a million dollar upgrade, Strand Water Park has finally opened its doors in Queensland. The money wasn't just about upgrading the flumes in the park. They now have 10 new picnic areas and five new shaded centers and shelters as well. So it wasn't just about recreating the park, it was, you know, making sure that the park is fun and great for everyone. Anyway, the water, park, the water park upgrade was funded by the local Queensland government, so the family of Townsville, where the park is, uh, you know, the future generations can enjoy the park long into the future, which is really good. Uh, that's great to hear though, the government actually investing money into a water park and swimming pools rather than closing them down. Maybe the UK government should take notes. And another plus is the actual upgrade has created 43 new jobs in the area as well, which is always a win. Have you guys seen our latest video, 10 types of people you meet at the pool? It dropped on our channel on Wednesday, um, and you should totally go check it out, either in the link that's just popped up, or click in the link in the description below as well. Okay guys, so let's get straight on into this week's shout out. So I do apologize if I mispronounce any of these names. Um, one, I'm rather tired from jet lag, and two, I just can't pronounce names half the time. But anyway, so congratulations to Farda Osman, Chad Lacos, and Sarah Strogstorm. I totally did not say that right. But anyway, for their wins at the Association of National Olympic Committees Awards, otherwise known as the ANOC. The next shout out goes to Fabio 
Scorzelli and Kira Toussaint. Again, apologize for probably not pronouncing them right, for smashing it at the Bolzano swimming meet as well. They broke lots of records and got lots of medals, which is really good. And the last shout out of this episode has to go to PT for winning Swimming British Athlete of the Year. Nice work, PT. And that's it for today's show. I hope every, everyone has a great weekend and I'll see you next week for another roundup.